Siddhartha, nesse cenário pandêmico, é, é grande o anseio da, da população mundial é, pela vacina. Né? Mas o rito científico determina, até para assegurar a segurança e eficácia da vacina, que uh, se leve um período para o desenvolvimento dela. Né? As farmacêuticas estão trabalhando, assim como os institutos de pesquisa, e falando em, em ter vacina já para o início do ano que vem, enfim. É, o quanto é factível, né? considerando o momento do começo da pandemia, ter uma vacina em prazo de um ano, um ano e meio, é, o quanto isso de fato é factível na sua opinião? Uh, I think it's possible. Um, it's important to realize that uh, just having a vaccine doesn't solve the problem. Uh, you have to get vaccinated to solve the problem, and that's a different thing. So just having a vaccine isn't enough. You have to produce enough doses. People have to take it. People have to be given the appropriate doses. And the vaccine has to be, above all, uh, safe and effective. Um, I think moving as fast as we can, it's possible. Uh, to have a vaccine by early next year. Um, it will not be as rigorously tested as most vaccines have, just to give you a sense. The last vaccine, that was the fastest vaccine, human vaccine ever developed in human history has been four years, and that's the mumps vaccine. Um, um, the, uh, this would be reducing that four years down to uh, essentially one and a half years. Um, and uh, or one year and a few months. Um, and even with the latest technologies, making vaccine in that record time is really a challenge. Um, uh, I am optimistic because I have seen the data and studied the data from all the vaccine groups that have published data so far. This includes the group at Oxford uh, working on the, on the uh, vaccine that's based on the adenovirus chimpanzee backbone. Uh, this is based on uh, the Moderna vaccine. That is a vaccine based on a very new technology. And it's also based on other vaccines uh, that are being that are coming. The data look promising. The data look good from uh, human and animal experiments. But these are not finalized data. The vaccines are undergoing trials right now. In fact, um, two or three of the lead candidates are almost finishing with their trials. But that said, this will, these trials will um, be among the fastest trials that we've done. And there's a compromise here. The compromise is that if you don't wait for the, the appropriate length of trials, um, you do have to make a compromise because you won't have studied uh, all the potential long-term effects of, of such a vaccine. But thus far, uh, the ones that have, uh, the data that have been published have been encouraging. Um, and I would say if this trend continues, and if we keep on track, we might have a vaccine by uh, early next year would be my projection. Ricardo, 